welcome to Emerging Technology Conversations. I'm Debbie Lowe Bean and we're here today with Rick McElhinney. Rick, did I pronounce that right? Yeah, close, close, close enough. <laughs> so Rick is here, he's CEO of Sunshine Hydro, which is an amazing new, hmm, I would call it a collaborative renewable energy power source, I think. Um, maybe Rick, you could explain it a little bit better than I can. So Sunshine Hydro is a developer and we develop our major projects, power stations that involve or integrate pumped hydro with um, hydrogen generation. So we create this ecosystem and we have a technology that manages that ecosystem um, and uh, we, we generate carbon free energy 24-7, you know, 15 years into the future, kind of like a nuclear power plant except 100% of it's renewable, it's all wind and solar and we use the pumped hydro as a battery to um, store the energy so that we can uh, spread it out over time so we can create this carbon free energy and we use the hydrogen to leverage the system even further so this ecosystem becomes a little bit special and uh, they're big projects so they're they take a long time to develop and, and that's what we're in, in the process of doing. So let's go back and let's just talk about what is hydrogen electricity? How does it work? So hydroelectricity is when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining, we need to get the energy from somewhere. So when the wind is blowing and the sun is shining, we can pump water up in a reservoir and uh, that water is stored in that reservoir. And when, when we need that energy, we allow that water to flow down and run a turbine to generate electricity. So it's like when you, when the kids were little and you had, you know, you poured the water in the top of this thing and the little thing spun as it came down and that's creating energy as it comes down. That's but, it. Yeah. That's it. But the biggest thing, so when we were talking earlier, the biggest thing is you're not just using that, you're using all different types of, you're sort of creating this ecosystem of renewable energy and balancing it all so that they all work together to produce electricity. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. So we use, <clears throat> we generate hydrogen. So we use some of the electricity to pump water up into the reservoir. And when the time's right, that's what we do. And some of the electricity goes into producing hydrogen. And we, we use that as a load, which means we can actually draw a lot more energy from the grid, from the, um, the, the wind and solar. So we're leveraging a lot more energy. And we're storing it both in the upper reservoir, but also in um, gas storage or, or hydrogen storage. So we've got this bigger battery. It, it creates a, a much more, um, it, we, we focus on increasing the amount of carbon free energy we can supply to industrial users. So the industrial users have to have green energy. <clears throat> and you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, we, we really need to get to permanent green energy, um, that is hour by hour matched. So it's not just, oh, we contracted wind, um, but when the wind's not blowing, we use coal. We want to use 100% wind or 100% renewable all the time, 100% of yes. the time. So that's, that's the goal that we set out to, to, to achieve and we do it. And then the hydrogen, um, we can either deliver that as, as gaseous hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, or even methanol. Um, and that becomes an extra revenue stream. So a lot of the, a lot of the problems with pumped hydro in the past have been it's really hard to get them to be financially viable. What we're doing is we're adding two revenue streams, one being the carbon free energy and the other being hydrogen itself. So those extra revenue streams make the project a lot more financially viable. And, uh, and the carbon free energy is the goal. That's, that's what we focus on. So we kind of figure we, we like to think of ourselves as developers, and that's what we do. We, we develop these big projects, but we've got a secret weapon in the technology that we're, we're using to, to bring it all together. And there's no one else in the world that's got this technology? Nobody else is doing what we're doing now. We haven't found anybody at this point. Yeah. That's great. And I know we were talking earlier that you use a bit of AI because to get that balance right, you know, if you have sun one minute, you have, don't have sun the next minute, or if you have wind one minute, so just to get that balance, so you have constant electricity, how does that work? So, you know, typically there, there is a lot of optimization within the grid as it is. And a lot of people are in fact using batteries to, to store energy and deliver on a daily arbitrage. We, we actually look at it long-term. So we, we study 
and um, uh, simulate very bad conditions, you know, shutting down of a power station, uh, really long wind doldrums, so that we are always delivering this carbon free energy. 15 years from now, when something really goes wrong in the grid, we're delivering it reliably, just like a nuclear power plant. And that's the goal. So we, we provide that at 98% delivery, which is probably better than a coal fired station. Um, and yeah, that's the goal. The goal is to always look into the future. Whereas a lot of the optimization today is daily. It, it's you know, storing the energy when, when the solar is running during the middle of the day and delivering it at night when people are using it and going through a daily cycle. Well, we, we care about the daily cycle, but we care a lot more about the long-term delivery of carbon-free energy. Mm, that's really interesting. And you have a really interesting or exciting little thing that's happening at the moment. You're going to let the everyday investor invest in this new technology. How is yeah, well, that going to work? So we've gone out to investors and we've, been, we, we've raised a lot of money in the past and we've got a lot more to raise in the future. But this time around, we've said, look, a lot of the people have asked us, can I invest? And we've always had a $100,000 minimum investment. So now through virtual, through this uh, ASIC regulated uh, crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing, yeah. crowdsource funding, we're able to allow everybody to come in. And so a lot of our friends and, and family and uh, different people that we, we work with stakeholders, they're now saying, you know, let's, let's get involved. So that, that was opened up <coughs> this week. Uh, for the first time, it's, it's open for the next couple of weeks. Um, we've got, I don't know, 120, I think, people have already said we're it's investing. Like so, <laughs> so it's happening. So, so there's a window for, for, for people to get involved, and um, that's going to be over the next few weeks. Yeah, so if anyone out there is really passionate about renewable energy and having you know, a clean environment, and this is Australia, this is an Australian. 100% Australian. 100%, 100% Australian and we I think we need to start investing in our own inventions because a lot of a lot of companies that you and I see all the investment is international like it's not you know it's not local our, some of our biggest companies are all international companies or internationally owned we're, we're also doing some interesting things within the local community so the projects that we develop we work in, we look at local community, we, we make sure the social license is really solid, <clears throat> which is which is important. So we're a private company. We're not a, a, a massive company that's um, you know, going to do damage to the environment. We're really caring about it a great deal. We work with the traditional owners in the project that we have in Gladstone. Uh, we're just signing an agreement with the, the uh, traditional owners. So they become owners in the project as opposed to uh, being given uh, benefits from the project they're actually going to be creating wealth within the project. And we like that. And so we're working with the local community, um, you know, Gladstone Council, this is a project that's in the Gladstone area. Um, we, we're actually building a community. There's a, there's a town, Miriam Vale, that's uh, on the main road and on the main rail within a few kilometers of the, the project. And that, that township is going to grow and create jobs and we're going to add water to their system and, Add a lot of infrastructure that gives them an ability to, to prosper. And uh, you know, we're really proud of what we're doing there. And the guys that are involved are just loving the process. So it's, it's, good. it's great. It's giving back. It's Australians giving back to Australia. I think it's fabulous. So thank you so much for today. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it's been great. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thanks for joining me.